Hi everyone, we are going to share our experience uh, in Sim to Real Challenge with Gibson at uh, CVPR. Uh, we are from the robotics team uh, in Inspire AI. Uh, my name is Xu Peng Wei. My teammates are uh, Xiao Longhu and Xiang Jun Wang. The iGibson environment is a photorealistic simulator and its uh, physics engine is Bullet. The competition uh, involves three tasks. Uh, all of them are point go navigation, but in, uh, in slightly different tasks, like in static environment, in interactive environment, and in a dynamic environment. The competition can be divided into two phases, the uh, real phase and the, the sim phase. Uh, we rank first in both sim and real evaluation. Uh, in sim evaluation, uh, our total score is 1.93. Uh, in uh, the, fi uh, the real final evaluation, our total score is uh, 0 0.67, uh, which uh, side ball edge compared to other participants. Uh, this shows the uh, power of realistic simulator and agent learn end to end with deep reinforcement learning. Uh, this diagram shows our model structure. Uh, the input from RGB and depth camera uh, will be fed into the visual encoder. Um, and the policy part will take uh, of the sensor input and uh, uh, the hidden state and actions from the last sta state and uh, compute the, uh, the next uh, select state, the select actions. Uh, we tried to use only RGB and only depth uh, images, but uh, we found that using them together is uh, better. And we also uh, try to increase the critics a field of view. Uh, in the final implementation, our visual encoder is based on the uh, ResNet 50. And our policy is one layer of uh, one layer LSTM. Our action space is uh, discrete. And for task one, task two, our action space size is uh, five. It consists of moving forward, turn left, turn right, and their combinations. Uh, and there are some additional actions for task three because the, the robot in task three have to deal with uh, the, uh, the dynamic obstacle. The additional actions are uh, moving back, stop, back left, and back right. So the total uh, action space for task three is uh, nine actions. Our reward function uh, consists of uh, reward part and penalty part. The most important reward is the potential reward, uh, which is a dense reward, and uh, it is related to the shortest path uh, between the initial point and the, tar uh, the target point. And notice that the if the agent follows the shortest path exactly, it will collide with the obstacle sometimes. And also the success reward when the agent reached the target point. We also encourage smooth transition actions by adding a smooth reward. In task three, uh, we encourage the agent to keep distance with the dynamic obstacle. For penalty, uh, we have the collision penalty with the obstacle, and we have the penalty when agent exceeds the max step. And we also have the slack penalty at each time step to make the uh, agent finish the, the job faster. We use distributed PPO as our training algorithm uh, with 
advantage normalization removed. In total, we use six GPU. Two of them uh, is for environment and four GPUs for the training algorithm. And this diagram shows the our uh, training system. Mm. It can be divided into the sampler, the learner, the predictor, and the uh, controller, also the uh, sample buffer. Basically, their name indicates their uh, functionality. We use a few tricks in the uh, competition. For environments, uh, we found that the horizontal camera will lose some information, uh, especially, especially for the objects close to the uh, robot. So after communication with the organizer, the camera angle is adjusted uh, towards the ground. We also filter unnecessary samples, uh, for example, by removing invalid starting points. We did this by using a cylinder to select the starting point. We also tried to uh, make the local boat, uh, local boat motion in simulation uh, closer to the uh, motion in real world. So like, for example, we mimic the robot shaking in simulation. Uh, for training, we start with only one uh, environment whose name is uh, Castro and it is the one uh, most close to the unseen part. And later we pick for 40 environments from the, the, the Gibson data set uh, with a similar difficulty to the Castro environment. We also uh, try to train the, the agent with collision allowed, which uh, reduced the, the difficulty a lot. And we also uh, increase the, the fail case sampling probability to make the training uh, faster. Uh, the, the policy train in the simulation can already be uh, directly applied to the real robot with fair performance. And we did some work to make the performance better and to overcome the seem to real gap. Like, let's say, uh, the domain recommendation. Uh, be more uh, specific is the, we add noise and distortion to depth and uh, RGB camera. We also add noise to the space and actions. Uh, we, we add one trick here uh, is uh, to turn around, the, to make the, the local bot turn around its own center at each uh, start point. So we do this to make the robot to see the surrounding environments. Uh, from the evaluation result, we, we found that the uh, model performed better in seen uh, environment than the unseen environment, which is understandable. And to make the model performance better in unseen environment, it's uh, uh, potential future directions. We have a, a few ideas haven't tried yet. We will list here as the future directions. Like first is the model ensemble, which is always uh, useful in model in, uh, performance improving. And uh, the noise modeling of the real sense uh, the, uh, for 35, both for the RGB and depth. And also the, uh, to improve the visual encoder. First, we can do this by add mid-level visual prior to replace or be part of the visual encoder. We didn't include this in final implementation because of the speed. And next is to use attention in navigation task. Uh, another uh, future direction is to improve the representation learning and policy learning. Can do this by uh, add more environment for training and contrastive learning, and to 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 stages uh, representation learning and policy learning, and even uh, the self supervised learning. 
If you got any further question, please contact me through this email. Thank you.